What's going on, YouTubers? It's me once again, RKO2582, here to do my Raw Super Show review for January 30th, 2012. Oh my god, what an ending. So much news to cover on this edition of, of Monday Night Raw, man. Uh, let's not waste any time to get this review underway. Alright, first you had that funk man. John Laryngitis comes out and he's high fiving everybody and stuff and then he sets up the elimination chamber for the raw side. It it comes up with six competitors with my boy Best in the World CM Punk WWE Champion. My boy, the highlight of the night from this past Sunday's World Rumble handstand man himself. Boom! 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 Kofi Kingston. Love that boy. Uh, Dolph Ziggler. Here to show the world. The Miz. Awesome. And Little Jimmy. Our truth. And one, two, Jay. Bye bye. Yeah, for the chamber. And then, um, and then he makes more matches tonight. He makes a champion versus champion match for later on in the evening with CM Punk. Versus Daniel Bryan, and I can't wait to talk about that. And then he makes a Divas title match for Beth Phoenix going up against Eve. And then he makes a Orton versus Dolph Ziggler. So pretty much, we I pretty much know what John Laryngitis' game was all tonight. Pretty much like he did this past Sunday at the Rumble, trying to make himself look good before Triple H comes. And then, speaking of, best in the world, once again, CM Punk. Comes out and sing the song I've been wanting to sing all night long. Na 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 na. Hey hey hey. Goodbye. Oh, uh, it was so awesome. He was making the fans sing along. God, punk is awesome. I don't care what anyone says. And then John Laird tries to shake CM Punk's hand like a fool. And then he's like, if you're trying to shake my hand, you're expecting another GTS coming your way. And and then guess who comes out, Mr. Yes, 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 Daniel Bryant, the World Heavyweight Champion. And I have to say, the mic work between Punk and Bryant was top notch. It was, and and, and and I mean, I guess them having that R H decade ago, man, it's really helping. I love it. And then who comes out? The true man of the hour. The Celtic Warrior, the War Rumble 2012 winner himself, Sheamus. And pretty much he was, you know, trolling the champs, trying to, you know, trying to screw their minds and stuff. And, and on top of that, like, um, Punk, uh, he was snubbing at Johnny Ace too, hoping he gets fired tonight too. So it was so awesome to see Punk, Brian, Sheamus all in the same ring. Three of my favorite current wrestlers in WWE right now, so. What a way to kick Raw off with this promo. Alright, the first match of the night was Randy Orton going up against Dolph Ziggler. And might, might I say, this was a really good match. The way to kick off the show, like I said, along with the opening segment. Um, um, you had, yeah, Boy Barrett up in the sky, but, you know, talking crap about Orton. You know, trying to set up for their match going into this Friday SmackDown. And, um, yeah, Orton, Ziggler, like I said, give a great match. Um, Ziggler does his drop kicks. Orton does his moves. Um, I like that super play they did. Um, and, and I thought for a moment Ziggler was going to be with the sleeper and then that famous move. And then once Orton hit his trademark DDT and stuff, he ends with a BAM RKO. One, two, three. Randy Orton's your winner and guy look go good going into this Friday SmackDown when he faces Wade Barrett once again. All right, now we had fucking song and roll. Ah, ah, yeah, mama, somebody call mama. Brothers Clay time. Yep, and he beats Tyler Rex. And okay, I officially learned the, the new move, the name of the move. What the fuck? Okay, <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yep, he beats him with that. No time at all. So good, he ain't no feel good moment. All right, now the match that I really enjoyed tonight. The champ versus champ match between best in the world, CM Punk, 
and the World Heavyweight Champion, yes, 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 Daniel Bryan. I, I don't know what is it with Daniel Bryan. I just love doing that. I mean, at first I was against the heel turn of Daniel Bryan, but after him improving with it, I actually like it. I love it. Um, You had uh, Daniel Bryan do a Mexican surf for a tenth. I mean, my God. Punk was going back and Punk and Brian were going back and forth, and I enjoyed every freaking second of it. I mean, it was amazing. And I like that Frankenstein Punk did uh, during the match. Before he hit, he was like, best in the world. Hit it. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. I mean, and then just when Punk was about to um, about to end this match, here comes Y2J throwing Brian out. And then he hits um, Punk with the code breaker and pretty much, you know, Brian won by disqualification, and of course Brian does his usual. Yes, yeah, yeah. And then, and pretty much Jericho stands tall, and I'm looking at like, what the hell is going on? And and pretty much for most what people have been telling me, I think this might be the setup of setup start for the whole CM Punk versus Chris Jericho match going into WrestleMania. Maybe who knows? I guess we'll ha we'll find out. Okay, um, we had another official inductee for the 2012 WWE Hall of Fame, and believe it or not, it was Iron Mike Tyson, the baddest man on the planet. And, oh man, I, I'm actually happy about this, to be honest, and because he had a helping hand at WrestleMania 14, who, who lived through the Agit era, of course. Um, him and Stone Cold, I still remember me and my dad still laughing at that epic encounter between him and Stone Cold Steve Boston, and that was awesome as hell. And him, who would have thought, as, um, at the main event, WrestleMania 14, he was in cahoots with Stone Cold all this time, and then he knocked Shawn Michaels out. And I've watched that clip so many times, it never gets old. Never does. And I have to say, this is a better, better celebrity, um, going into all fame than this guy. All right, next match tonight was the Miz. Awesome, going up against Boom, 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 Kofi Kingston, and not not to be far behind, you had our troop on commentary. And then uh, this was not a bad match. It was pretty good, and and of course, I mean, once Miz hits the um, corner and misses, you know, hitting Kofi in the promo, Kofi hits the. Damn, trouble in paradise. One, two, three. Y yes, yes, yes. Your winner, Kofi Kingston, Mr. Handstand, man. Oh, my God. I'm so happy he got this victory, y'all, man. He totally needed it, especially after his performance at this past Sunday's Royal Rumble. And I'll get to more on Kofi later on towards the end of this review. And, and um... Next match was the Divas title match between Eve and Beth Phoenix, and believe it or not, it, it was one of those, like, uh, if you blink, then you missed it. Um, uh, Eve had a little anger, but in the end, Beth Phoenix hit the glam slam quick. One, two, three. Your winner still Divas champion, Beth Phoenix. But this led on to, you know, Kane pretty much saying, like, yeah, Eve, this is all your fault, you know, getting Cena and Ryder in my way. And then he's like, and Cena, he's like, I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop in trying to get you to embrace the hate going into your, your match at WrestleMania 20 when you go up against The Rock. And then and then Kane was coming, uh, was creeping up behind Eve from out of nowhere. And then who else comes? John Cena, you know, saving the day as usual. And then, I mean, and Cena was all like, he's like, like we're going to get this party up in here. And, all that stuff. I'm, and I, as a Cena fan as I am, I wish this would have happened last night at the Rumble. You know what I'm saying? I thought that could have made the match a whole lot better, but that's just me. But um, from the looks of it, I think they're going to face each other again at the um, elim Elimination Chamber pay-per-view, but I'm thinking it's going to be a stipulation this time. I'm actually surprised neither of those two are in the Chamber WWE title um, match, Chamber match. Sorry. Um, yeah, but... But anyways, um, and now, the moment we've all been waiting for, yep, John Laryngitis review time. 
And then John Leonard Jones all like, oh, I'm going to apologize to everybody. And then, <clears throat> time to play the game. See how Triple H comes out. And pretty much, you know, trying to tease us. Tease us only to getting to the inevitable about uh, getting his firing and stuff. And, oh, my God. And then the booze kept getting louder for us. Uh, John Leonard Jones. And when Triple H mentioned a certain club... Uh, and, and, and believe it or not, Fuck Man had all oh, chapstick. <laughs> and Triple H was like, you were going to do it, weren't you? Triple H trolls. Oh, man. Awesome. Triple H. And just when Triple H was going to finally say, I'm going to wish you the best in your future. And gong. Gong. Oh, my God. Undertaker returns people. Oh, my God. And... When Taker and Triple H were staring down, we were thinking, oh no, tell me we're not going to see Undertaker and Triple H Part 3. And then it, it looked like it was going to happen, but Triple H was like, no bro, like, I'm taking a walk. And I'm looking at this like, what what's Undertaker's quest for WrestleMania 28 going to be next? Uh, Triple H pretty much said no. It's like, like they did 221 last year, not saying a word, pretty much letting their actions speak for themselves. Crazy, right? But overall, Raw tonight was awesome as hell. And, and I hope they continue on, like, with this hype going into the SmackDown and so on going into the World of WrestleMania, because this is usually the time things start really getting interesting. So, once again, they better keep it up. And before I end my review tonight, um, I just want to say that um, since January is pretty much almost over, we're going into February, and you know February is of course Black History Month along with the Valentine's Day stuff, but most importantly Black History Month. And I decided that I'm going to um, every Wednesday in February I'm going to uh, talk about my favorite um, African American wrestler in a in a um, mini video series titled The African American Wrestler Chronicles and stuff and and who I'm gonna kick it off this week with? None other than Boom 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 Kofi Kingston and I hope you guys check that out um this Wednesday. Alright anyways this is RKL twenty five eighty two with my raw review for um January thirtieth, two thousand twelve. Take care and damn it John Lewis almost got far. Almost in time, eventually he'll get fired, man. Ugh. Alright, alright, anyway, bye guys.